Okay, good morning and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be going over how to create a graphic overlay in CorelDRAW. Um, so we want to go ahead and say new once we open CorelDRAW. Um, go ahead and say okay, I'm making this 24 by 18. So we're going to go ahead and use a internet template or an internet uh, example that I found. So we'll go ahead and navigate to the desktop. We'll go ahead and um, get our overlay. Go ahead and say import. Now this doesn't have any specific size or dimensions. So we're going to go ahead and just make it our own size. Uh, this is probably good. <laughs> Excuse me. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get this the size that you that you want it to be. So we're going to go ahead and zero out this point here. So to do that, you want to click up in the upper left corner of your ruler, click, and you want to drag this down to the corner here. Actually right there, because we're going to make it from, the dimension is going to be from the left to the right. Go ahead and click there. So now we want to place a guide out there. So we'll click and drag a guide out to the zero mark. Okay, right there. So now we're going to add another guide in there. So we'll go ahead and click and drag off to the right. And we'll go, so basically this is about 10 and a half. Okay, so we'll, we'll make it 10 and a half. That, that seems to be okay. All right, so we want to go control plus to zoom in on this. Now we're going to basically use uh, the trim and weld tool to get most of this done. Um, so real quick way to do it is go ahead and get your square tool. Uh, we'll start up here. We're going to go ahead and drag this square down to the bottom here. Okay, click there. And we're going to go ahead and change the view to wireframe so it's easier to see. So basically we're going to create this shape in here. So, And then we're going to go ahead and go from here. It doesn't have to be exact at first. We're just creating a basic shape for now. So we're going to go ahead and go from up here down. Okay, so we got a little start here. So we want to go ahead and click on this rectangle here. I want to go to our uh, shaping tool. And then we want to go ahead and make sure that we hit weld, and then we want to weld to here. Okay, now we want to hit weld again. We want to weld this to here. Okay, so now we have the base of the, of the part. So now we're going to do this upper part here. So what we want to go ahead and do is click on the rectangle tool, click and drag. Uh, we're going to go over. Well, let's undo that. Let's turn on our snaps. To do that, go up to the snaps, make sure that guidelines are on and objects are on. And then we'll go back to the square tool. We'll click and drag out to here. Make sure they go up to here. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and click off of that. Click this rectangle we just created. Go ahead and say weld, weld to this. Okay, so now we want to do a shape to cut. So we want to cut this shape out right here. So the best way to do that is we can go ahead and change the, the pointer tool to what's called a bezier. And we're going to go ahead and uh, create, we're going to create half and then we're going to revolve it around. So what we need to do is put a guide out here to the halfway mark, to the midpoint. We're going to go ahead and click here, click here and drag. Then we're going to go up here to the midpoint, click and drag. Okay, now to get this line, to, yeah, you want to double click on that line right there. And then we're going to come up to there, over to there, over to there, and then go to the node and hit click, that's going to close that shape. Okay, so now we want to do Control-C, Control-V for paste. 
Then we're going to click and we're going to drag this over by holding down the control key. Okay, now we have two shapes. I want to go ahead and click, hold down the shift key, get both those shapes. Then we want to change weld to trim. We want to go ahead and say trim from here. Okay, now we can go ahead and get rid of these trim pieces up here. Okay, now we have our basic shape. All right, now we want to go ahead and put our circles in there. So go ahead and get the circle tool. We want to come over here. Let's zoom in. Control plus. And we're going to go ahead and go from the middle of that circle. Click and drag by holding down the shift key. Control, shift. Undo. Let's try this again. I don't have a, we can, we'll make, we'll scale it down later. So right now we're at 0.9, so we want to go make this probably 0 0.75. 0 0.75, tab, 0.75, enter. Okay. All right, so now we have our circle there. So control minus, we'll zoom out. We want to put one of them there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on this circle here. Control C, Control V to paste. We got a copy there. We're going to drag this over to here. Let's zoom in. Seems like that's where we want it to be. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And we're going to change trim to wild. We're going to wild that to there. Control minus to zoom out. We're going to select that circle. Wild to there. Okay, that's our basic setup. Okay, now we want to put our circles in there for cutouts. And right, now we're going to go ahead and get the circle tool. Pull in the center of there. Pull down Control and Shift. Okay. Now we want to go, we want to offset this. So to figure out how far we want to go, we want to change our our zero point to here. So we're going to go ahead and click on the ruler again. We're going to drag out to the center of this, click off of it. Now we're going to drag a guide down from the top. So from there down to here. All right about there. Okay, now we're going to click on the guide. We're going to come up here to our uh, let's see here. Okay, double click on the guide. <clears throat> and that's going to show us approximately where it is over here. It's minus 1.148 inches down. So now we're going to go click on that. We're going to go to transform. And we're going to go on the Y minus 1.148 inches down. We want three copies, so we're going to want to change that to three, and then we're going to hit apply. Okay, that was off a little bit, but that's okay. We can go ahead and use an edge offset. But we're going to delete that. Um, we'll just select these two. Go ahead, um, and we're going to. Okay, so I'm going to leave them. That's okay. I'm okay with that. So. And basically, next we're going to go Control minus. We're going to put our circles in here. So Control plus, and I get another circle there. Click and drag. Okay. Now we're going to go copy paste, and we're going to hold down the Control and Shift key, and we're going to drag a copy across to there. Okay. Now we're going to do the same on that. Uh, control C, Control V, and then drag a copy down to here. Sorry about that. That was my phone. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and copy that. Control C, Control V, and then we're going to drag a copy out to here. Okay, so that's your basic level for your overlay. So now you got to put in some text. Uh, we could go ahead and 
select the text tool and then go all caps B lowercase a T T back up S T B B R Y. Okay, we'll put that in first. So go ahead and click there. Now what we want to do is we want to click on that node up there and then drag down to compress it a little bit. Click, drag over to there. Let's turn off our uh, snaps. So we'll go ahead and turn off our snap to objects, snap to guidelines, so we can move this control plus to zoom in. Control plus to zoom in. We will go ahead and stretch this down a little bit. Okay. Control minus to zoom out. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that square around the edge there anymore. So we're going to need. Oh, sorry. I knew that's our, that's our template. So we need to lock that template. I guess I didn't do that. So right mouse click on the actual graphic that we're tracing and go ahead and uh, go down to lock object. That way it's not going to move around on us. Okay. So now we're going to copy this and paste and we're going to drag it down. Okay. Now we're going to get our text tool. We're going to double click on this and we're going to change this to level. L E P E L. Okay, let me go ahead. Click off of that. Let's nudge this to nudge down, just use your arrow keys and you can move it down into place. Okay. We won't do the whole thing because that's going to be long. So go ahead and right mouse click on your uh, graphic that we traced. Go ahead and go unlock, hit delete. And we'll go ahead and get rid of these guides. We don't need them anymore. Go ahead and go to view, view by normal. Now we want to go ahead and give this a color, Let's say black. And then we want to come in here. Let's go to drag a marquee around this area. Go ahead and give that a white fill. Go ahead and select these circles, which I know where they are. Hold down the shift key, get those, fill with white. And we'll go ahead and get any of this stuff up here, fill with white. Then we'll go ahead and get the zoom tool to zoom in. All right, so there's your basic uh, graphic overlay. Um, obviously, most of these graphic overlays would come with dimensions because they have to be precise. These holes would have to be in the precise spot. Um, and if they weren't lined up perfectly, none of the objects would fit through them. But this is just a basic overview of how to create a graphic overlay from, in CorelDRAW uh, using the Trim and Weld tool using your um, nudge offset, uh, using your circle tool, text tool, and also how to change your ruler offset positions to zero, zero, uh, and then how to add uh, color and stuff. So, okay, that'll be the end of the tutorial. Hopefully you found something useful from this, um, and I thank you for watching.